Wouldn't it be great to know how the big investors are positioned on the market? Well, now you can, thanks to the Cot Report. In this video, I will show you how to forecast the movement of future contracts using the commitment of traders data. You can find all the participants at this huge market, which is the futures of the S&P 500. And for example, in this case, you can find a very interesting situation. Let's go back very quickly to the um, CFTC Commission website. And uh, for example, here you go to financials, okay? You can find all the futures for um, the CME, okay, you can find everything. And of course you will find, if you scroll down, you can find also the S&P 500. Here you have, for example, the long position for the leverage fund and the short positions, okay? This is not a very nice page where to understand how they are trading on this specific market because you can find just one data. At Forecaster, we collect all the historical data and we plot the data on the chart. And what we do is trying to understand if we have a divergence between prices and the volumes of a specific category. For example, talking about the S&P 500, we always look for leveraged fund. We are talking about the edge funds and non-commercial. Also in this case, guys, you have the description of what you are looking at directly inside the forecaster, okay? So for example, if we would like to analyze the cut report for the S&P 500, we can definitely say something really interesting because look, these are the net positions. It means we here on the chart, we find long positions minus the short position for this specific category, leveraged fund. Okay, we have both the long, the short. We can also see a different kind of chart. I really love the bar chart in this case. The net position are the long contracts minus the shorts. What we can see here is something really interesting because during the last drop in prices, hedge funds closed a lot of short positions. And this is something really interesting because as you can see, we have a very strong divergence in this case. And this is another analysis on a, another layer in the forecaster that tell us that probably we are on a very important law for the S&P 500. What report is very important, for example, for um, commodities, um, currencies, and all the future available on the CME, okay? But talking about the S&P, we have a divergence because during the last drop in prices, the leveraged fund used the last drop in order to close a lot of short positions. And this is a bullish sign. This video is an extract of an entire masterclass regarding investments and trading. You can find the entire free course here on YouTube. You can find the link in the description.